a man who was freed from North Korean imprisonment in 2010 after former President Jimmy Carter interceded was found dead in San Diego last week. The authorities were notified by a witness that the man, Ijalan M. Gomez, 38, had been seen on fire in a field off the Pacific Highway late on Friday. An off-duty California Highway Patrol officer stopped to help him, and the San Diego Fire Rescue responded to a dispatch call, but Mr. Gomez, who had recently moved to San Diego from Boston, was pronounced dead at the scene. The San Diego police said in a statement on Tuesday that they believed Mr. Gomez's death had been either an accident or a suicide. A police spokesman, Billy Hernandez, said the cause of the fire was still under investigation. In April 2010, Mr. Gomez was sentenced to eight years of hard labor in a North Korean prison for crossing into the country illegally. Mr. Carter made a special visit to Pyongyang, the country's capital, to negotiate for his release in August of that year. Mr. Gomez is the second American to have died this year after having been imprisoned in North Korea. Otto Warmbier, an American college student, died in June, a week after he was released in a vegetative state. A coroner determined in September that he had suffered extensive brain damage after his circulation was cut off. And if Mr. Gomez's death is ruled a suicide, he would be the second American to have killed himself after having been released from North Korean detention. In 1996, about a month after he was let go from the country, Evan C. Hunziker committed suicide. He was 26 years old. Mr. Hunziker's father tried in 1996 to explain the death of his son, who was wanted in the United States on three outstanding arrest warrants, saying that he had been afraid of going back to jail. Both Mr. Gomez and Mr. Hunziker attempted suicide while imprisoned. Mr. Gomez's mother, Jacqueline McCarthy, confirmed to a local news station that her son had just moved to San Diego, but asked for privacy as the family dealt with his death. She did not answer phone calls on Wednesday. In a rare interview in 2015, Mr. Gomez described some of the conditions of his imprisonment. He said that he had initially been detained in a concrete cell that was beyond freezing, that he had reason to believe one of his guards was urinating in his food, and that he was assigned to make bricks as punishment. He described himself as broken and weary of the games being played for my life two months after he was arrested in January 2010. In the interview, he said that he still experienced setbacks and frustrations, and that issues with anxiety had made him mostly a recluse. At least three Americans Tony Kim, Kim Hak Song, and Kim Dong Chul remain imprisoned in North Korea. President Trump on Monday restored the country to a list of states that sponsor terrorism, once again escalating tensions between the United States and North Korea.